go. Okay, hello again everyone. So we are now uh, we are now here on the next lesson that we have here on physics. So on the last lesson that we have, we talked about reflection, refraction, and how those two processes work. Now, uh, since we know already how reflection and refraction work, so we will talk about how to apply this particular process in uh, in an object called mirrors. All right, so let's. Uh, Okay, let's uh, let let's get this over with. Now, uh, before we have the uh, no, before we have the discussion about mirror, so let's talk about the different types of images. Now, whenever you look at the mirror, whenever you look at the mirror, you see yourself. So yourself is the image that is projected or that is uh, that you see on the mirror. Now, there are two types of image. So we have here the virtual image. So the virtual image are uh, images that cannot be projected on a screen. So ba basically, they cannot be uh, projected. Um, they cannot be projected using a screen. Yeah. So and the idea is all right. The idea is uh, is that virtual images are always opposite on the side or the virtual images are always located opposite to the side of the mirror relative to the object so meaning to say if the object is placed in front of the mirror then basically the image uh, the image that that image that it will form is on the opposite side of the mirror so behind the uh, behind the mirror so uh, as if or the image will be formed as if it is behind the mirror so it is always uh, like that so <clears throat> that is um, all right so that is uh, the virtual images all right next one all right uh, the opposite of that is the real image now if the virtual image you cannot project uh, you cannot project the your image on a screen so the real image this time you can project the image on the screen okay so technically you can uh, Alright, you can uh, put your image that will be formed on the mirror in a particular screen. Alright, similar to a uh, no, similar to a uh, projector. Alright, so for mirrors, uh, for mirrors, the real image always appear on the same side of the mirror. So meaning to say, uh, the image in a real or uh, the real image always appears in front of the mirror. Okay, so the characteristics or or should I say the characteristics of the real image is always the same size they are always same in size so sometimes they are same in size sometimes they are reduced sometimes they are enlarged yeah next one in terms of position real images are on the same side of the mirror all right so that is the real image next one we have here the orientation the orientation of your uh, real image is always uh, inverted all right so meaning to say there is no real image that is not inverted Okay, so now please take note that uh, in real image, it the image always appears on the same side of the mirror. So meaning to say in front of the mirror. Unlike virtual image, the virtual image appears as if it is behind the mirror. Alright, it is always on the opposite side for the virtual image. All right, so let's go. Now there are two types of, oh no, there are uh, three types of mirror. I did not include here the first one. So the first one is the plane mirror. So we have here the. All right, so we have the plane. All right, so we have the plane mirror. That's the first one. The second one is the concave mirror, which is the. All right, so which is this one? So this is the concave mirror. So this is number two. And the third one is the convex mirror, okay, or also known as the diverging uh, mirror, okay. So, 
At the back of each mirror, even though it is a plane or a convex or a concave mirror, at the back of each mirror, there is a, what they call a silvered uh, or a black uh, compound or a black uh, paint at the back side on this, on this side. There's a black paint on this side so that it will make the front side of the mirror more uh, somehow reflective. It, cre it will create a reflective surface in the front of the mirror. Now, in the case of your... Uh, concave mirror so at the back of the concave mirror that is where the reflective or the painted uh, surface is located that makes this uh, arc that you have right here reflective all right so in the plane mirror so this is the plane mirror so it is not curved or something like that so the the painted surface is at the back of that uh, plane mirror so making the other side more uh, reflective all right so that is basically the three kinds of mirror plane concave and convex okay now in a concave mirror not only the concave mirror also for the all right, for, for the convex mirror, there is always what they call your uh, focus, right? Or should I say focal point, okay? So, this is where the light rays, uh, this is where the light rays meet, okay? In a concave mirror, if the light comes from the infinite, so if in a concave mirror, if the light comes from the infinite source, that one that the one that we have right here, so all uh, light rays from that infinite uh, point will all meet at the focal point. Okay, so that is the part where all light uh, light rays meet. All right, next one. Now, in a, in a particular mirror, not only concave but also the convex mirror, there is uh, there are uh, there are certain parts that you need to take note of. All right, so we have here the focus or the focal point. All right, so we have here the focal point, and from the focus and from the focus and on this particular part of the mirror, which is called the vertex. Alright, so the vertex of the mirror from that part to the focus is called focal length. Alright, so this is the focal length. Okay, so next one. Um, the area or the place beyond the focal, uh, beyond the focus is called the center of curvature. Sometimes it is labeled as, uh, sometimes it is labeled as uh, 2F or uh, simply uh, labeled it as C. Now, in order to get the center of curvature, you need to uh, you need to multiply alright, you need to multiply uh, focal length times 2. So, if you, if you example have the focal length of 10, you multiply it by 2, you get 20 center of curvature. So, meaning to say from the vertex from the vertex and until that point, from the point of 20, 20 cm, that is the uh, center of curvature. All right. So basically, this is the uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you multiply or if you make the focal length twice, then the twice the value of the focal length that is your center of curvature. Meanwhile, it, in order to find out the in order to find the focus or the focal length, you need to divide uh, center of curvature and uh, divided by 2. So, if in case that the given in a particular problem doesn't have a focal length, so you need to divide center of curvature by 2. Alright, so, and by the way, before I forget, uh, the axis at the middle of your uh, mirror, so this one that we have right here, this one, so this is called the principal axis. Okay, so we can now start uh, looking forward what are the different things about this mirror. Alright, so before we start on that, Okay, we will going to use uh, we will going to use some mnemonics here. So the mnemonics that we will going to have here is the lost. Okay, the lost mnemonics. So what do we have right here? So the L that we have is uh, means location. Okay. Okay, so what will be the location? So is it uh, okay? So the location is it beyond? All right. 
uh, will it be uh, beyond beyond C all right or on 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 C all right next one in front of C in front of uh, C or or should I say uh, on F okay next one in front of front of F yeah okay so again the location can be beyond C next one on C next one in front of C on F and in front of F okay so so that is your uh, location next when we talk about O it talks about orientation when we have O we have the, the orientation so what do we mean by orientation it is a uh, is it uh, inverted all right or upright all right so upright Okay, so technically inverted and upright images. All right, next one. Uh, the S stands for size. All right, so what is the size of the object? Is it reduced? Reduced, same, or even uh, we have uh, enlarged. Yeah. Okay, so that's the size of the object. Next one. The T is uh, the T stands for type of image. Type of image. Right. So this is the type of image. So what do we have right here? So the type of image can likely uh, it can be two. We have real. If the image is in, uh, formed in the same side as the mirror, or uh, should I say virtual. Okay, so so these are the uh, these are some ano, these are some uh, two so virtual. Okay, so virtual. Okay, so uh, let me rewrite it again. So we have it real and virtual. Okay, so real and virtual. So when we talk about virtual, is uh, the image will likely to form at the back of the uh, mirror. Okay, so that is your uh, lost. Okay, so from time to time, we will going to use this uh, particular mnemonics in order to find out what is the image or what is the property or what is the characteristics of the image that is formed in your uh, mirror. Alright, so here we go. Let's start. So... Okay, now is there any other way that we can predict the image characteristics behind beside the ray diagram? So there is. Alright, so there is another way, and that is by mathematical uh, approach on uh, the formation of the images. So we have here what they call the lens or mirror equation. So what we have right here is the formula if you want to compute for the position of the image, technically the distance of your image. So, what do we have right here? This is 1 over F, then 1 over the distance of your object. So, let's have, uh, let's have all the variables that we have right here. The small f represents the focal length. Okay. Next one, the D sub O is the distance, uh, distance of object. Alright. Next one, the D sub I is the distance of the image distance of image right so this is the standard formula if you want to compute one of these uh, variables that we have right here now let's take a let, let's take a quick look on how to use this uh, formula all right so the problem is read as uh, assume that a certain concave spherical mirror has a focal length of 10 cm Okay. Locate the image for an object of 25 cm and describe the image's uh, characteristic. So what do we have right here is the uh, working formula of your uh, mirror equation. So what do we have right here is the mirror equation. 
Okay, uh, we have here the focal length which is 1 over 10. So, basically if we will rearrange this one based on this problem, so we will have, so we are looking for the image characteristics or the image distance. Alright, so the image distance. So what do we have? And the image distance, so we have 1 over d sub i is equal to 1 over d sub o. Uh, transpose this one to the other side so it will become from positive it will become negative so 1 over d sub o minus 1 over f so basically that's the formula that we have right here now uh, doing so if we substitute all the value that we have right here so we have 1 over uh, d sub i is equal to 1 over and uh, what is the d sub o so we have 25 cm so you don't need to convert the distance if it is in cm then it is in, uh, in centimeter if it is in meter then so be it okay minus what is the focal length 1 over the focal length which is uh, 10 cm so if we do this formula so we have uh, 25 uh, times 10 cm over 25 minus 10 cm. Alright, so let's compute. So we have uh, 25 times 10. So that is around uh, that is around 250 over 25 minus 10. So that is uh, 15. Doing so, 250 over uh, 15, so that will become 16.67. So the answer here, the distance of the image is 16.67. So let's take a look at the, if it is negative or positive, so there's no problem with the sign, so that is positive. So technically, our answer is distance of the image is 16.67. So what does it mean? If the distance of the image is uh, positive, then therefore, it is a real image. So later, we will talk about some convention. Alright, we will talk about the conventions here in uh, finding out the answer or finding out the images that is formed in your mirror that we have uh, in this problem. Alright, so take note that real images always have positive image distance. The negative image distance is for the uh, virtual images. Alright. Now, please take note of this convention. The DO or D sub O is always, alright, so the D sub O is always uh, positive. Always positive. There's uh, common logic. The distance of the object, this is the actual object, if this is the actual object, there is no such thing as negative distance of the object. It's impossible. That's the reason why it is not applied here. Next one. If the distance, this is usually the one computed, the distance of the image. Now, if the distance of the image that you compute is positive, if the distance of the image is positive, then therefore that is real. Okay? Then, if the distance of the image is negative, and that is virtual. Take note that one. All, uh, uh, you can take note of this convention. Next one. If the focal length is uh, if the focal length is positive, then therefore that is concave mirror. So in the problem, in the problem, if you uh, if you uh, if you identify what kind of mirror that is used in the problem, so might as well put the sign on that particular uh, pro on that particular uh, value that you have right there. Now, if the focal length is negative, then therefore that is a convex uh, type of mirror. Alright, so take note of this convention. This is very helpful at all times. Next one. Now, so what we have right there uh, uh, before this one is only the comp uh, we compute only for the distance of the image. Now, in this particular uh, equation that we have right here, we will now compute for M is for the magnification. Alright, so magnification, that is uh, the capital M. So magnification. Magnification. Alright, so uh, still the D sub I is for the distance. And uh, 
uh, D sub O is for the distance of the object. Distance of the image, distance of the object. Now, we have here the new uh, newcomer. So, we have here the H sub I is the height. So, this is the height of the so height of image. Alright, so height of image. Next one, we have uh, the H sub O is the height of the object. Height of object. Alright, so technically, the formula that we have right here is M is equal to either, either of the following. M is equal to negative D sub I over D sub O or H sub I over H sub O. Alright, so either of the following. Okay, so that is the the formula that we have right here. Alright, so let's go back to the problem that we had earlier. Now, we computed already what is the distance of the image and we got 16.67. Now, uh, based on the problem, the distance of the object according to that problem is 25 cm from the mirror. So, doing the math here, so if we divide 16.67 over 25, so the answer will be 0.67. Don't forget its unit. So, every time that you will compute for the magnification, the unit should be in X. Alright, so this is uh, like 6 times, 1 times, or 1 times the image, 2 times, yeah, uh, 3 times the image, 3 times as large, uh, 0.67 as small as the image. And so that is the X, what the X re is represent, represents in this particular uh, answer. And don't forget the negative sign. So what does it mean? Now, so this is how the, uh, the equation works. If we got positive... In any case, if we got positive magnification, if the answer is positive, then the image is upright. Okay? So, if the answer on M, if the M is uh, positive, then the image is upright. But, on the other hand, if, if the M is negative, then the image is inverted. Take note that one. Next one. If the magnification is greater than 1, so in this case, it is not greater than 1. So, so if the magnification is greater than 1, then that is enlarge. Take note. Next one. If it is less than 1, base na, uh, the base that we have right here is 1. So, if, if the magnification value, just like what we have right here, the magnification value is 0.67, this is less than 1, then the image is uh, somehow reduced. But if the magnification is equal 1, then therefore, alright, common logic, the, the image is in the same size. Alright, same size as the object. Alright, so therefore, if we work on this problem, so what is the, what is the quality or what is the characteristic of the object that we use on that problem or the images or the image that is uh, produced by the mirror on that problem. So, in this case, the magnification is negative then therefore that is uh, inverted. So, inverted. Then, uh, the value is less than 1, reduced. Okay? So, the value is less than 1 that is reduced. And finally, yeah, so, yeah, so that's it. So, the image is inverted and reduced. Okay? So, that is how you use your magnification equation. Alright. So, let's uh, move on. Okay. Now, these are the conventions so that you will not be lost in uh, computing your magnification equation. Again, the D sub O or the distance of the object is always a positive sign. So, next one. The distance of the image is real and the, uh, the, the, if the distance of the uh, object or if the distance of the image is real, that is positive. The value of that is positive. If the distance of the image is negative, then that is uh, virtual. Alright, so again, the height of the object, just like, just like the distance of the object, uh, it is always positive. There's no such thing as the actual height of the object being negative. So, both of them, in common logic, so there's no such thing as negative distance and negative height of the object. But, 
in terms of computed value of the height of the image, if, if the height of the image is positive, height of the image is positive, then that is upright. If the height of the image is negative, then therefore, it is uh, inverted. Alright, so that's... Uh, that's uh, for the height of the image. Now, in terms of focal length, if the focal length is positive, then that is concave. And if the focal length is negative, that is uh, convex. So, you can see, uh, you will be able to identify what kind of mirror because it is always used or it is, it is always stated on your problem. Next one. If the magnification is uh, positive, then therefore that is upright and virtual. Take note that one. If the magnification value is negative, then that is real and inverted. Alright, so take note of these conventions. Again, these conventions are always useful in solving problems related to mirror equation or related to mirror equation all right so with that we are now ready to tackle some sample problems regarding mirror equation all right so let's start all right first example assume that a certain concave spherical mirror has a focal length of 10 cm all right so, concave, if we go back to the convention, it is positive. So, meaning to say that the focal length that you have right here is a positive one or positive uh, value. Alright, so, if we will rewrite it here. So, focal length, so since it is concave, that is 10 uh, cm. Next one, locate the image of uh, for an object. Alright, locate the image of an object in a distance of uh, 5 cm. So, meaning to say that the distance of the object is around 5 cm from the mirror. Alright, so what uh, is missing here? We have missing distance of your image. Alright, so what is the distance of your image? Uh, 1 over distance of the image is equal to 1 over d sub o minus 1 over f so if we will do this one so we have d sub o times f divided by d sub o minus f okay so we have uh, we have uh, what do we have right here so d sub o will be uh, 5 times 10 over uh, we have 5 minus uh, 10 Alright, so we have 5 times 10 is 50, then 5 minus 10 is negative 5. Alright, so 50 divided by 5, that will become negative 10. So therefore, the, ne uh, the distance of the image is negative uh, 10 cm. So what does the negative sign on the image uh, represent? So the, this negative sign that we have right here. So it tells us that the that the image is if it is negative that is virtual all right so negative okay it's negative that is virtual so now uh, let's take a look at the characteristics of this ana Hey, the characteristics of the image. Now, so since this is negative 10, so the distance of the image is negative 10 divided by its distance. So the two negatives will be cancelled. So the magnification is 2 times. So meaning to say that the object is enlarged. So if we will take a look at this using the loss. Okay, now what is the location of the object? So the location of the object, so... The distance is uh, image or the distance of the image is uh, 10. So, image, yeah, characteristics of the image. So, meaning to say if the focal length is 10 and the distance of the image is 10, so the image is located on F. Alright. So, next one. Now, what is the orientation of the object? Is it uh, inverted or uh, is it inverted or upright? Now, according to the convention, so the answer on the magnification is positive, then therefore, so let's take a look. So the answer of the magnification is positive, then therefore that is uh, upright. So this is upright. Now, next one. 
according to the convention, what is the size of the object? Is it reduced, same, or uh, enlarged? Now, this is greater than 1. This is greater than 1. Then, therefore, this is enlarged. Large. Yeah. Next, what type of image? So, if it is upright, automatically that is virtual. Alright. So, that is your first sample problem. Okay. So, if you have uh, comments, if you have a question on how I solved or how uh, did I come up with this answer, so don't forget to write something on the comment or write it down on the comment section of this video. Alright. Next one. Okay, works. Okay. Now, let's have another sample problem. A light bulb is in front of a concave mirror. Again, con when, when we talk about concave mirror, it is... Okay, so let's take a look at the convention. Okay, so concave mirror has... Alright, positive focal length. Okay, so... So, positive focal length. Now, the real image is located 9.2 cm from the mirror. Determine the distance of the original object of the mirror. So, we are asked to find out here the distance of the object. Alright? So, distance of the object is missing here. Alright? So, there we go. Then, let's solve the problem. Alright, so... Let's uh, try to list down. Now, what is the center of curvature or what, where is the center of curvature of that mirror? So, what is the center of curvature? So, we have uh, 2 times the F value. So, technically, the center of curvature on that problem and the focal length is, uh, the focal length is uh, 4.69. 4 I am correct. Right, 4.69 cm. Then, therefore, the center of curvature is 4.69 times 2 is 9.38. Okay, there we go. 9.38 cm. We're just computing the center of curvature for reference later. Alright, next one. So, what is the distance of the image? So, the distance of the image based on that problem is 9.2 cm so we have here um, 9.2 9.2 cm right so my drawing pad is uh, uh, not working again all right so we are asked to find out what is the distance of the image now with this we will now uh, we will going to use the formula 1 over f is equal to 1 over d sub o plus 1 over d sub i okay now uh, let's uh, let's substitute everything that we have right here so in order to rearrange this one so we have 1 over d sub o right 1 over d sub o is equal to 1 over d sub i minus 1 over f okay so let's substitute so we have 1 over uh, d sub o is equal to uh, 1 over 9.2 cm minus 1 over 4.69 cm now let's uh, let's rewrite it one more time so okay so we have here uh, okay so we have 9.2 times 4.69 so that will be uh, that will be uh, the answer will be uh, 4.13 uh, or rather sorry 4.43 point uh, uh, 15 alright so 43.15 over alright so over 9.2 minus 4.69 so that will be 4.51 4. 4.51 Alright, so suddenly my drawing pad is not working uh, correctly. Alright, so now let's try to find out what will be the D sub O. So the D sub O will be 43.15 over 4.51. So the answer will be 9. Alright, so the answer will be 
Right, so the answer is uh, 9 point Right, so 9.57 cm. Alright, so what does it mean? Okay, so later we will have the LOSD mnemonic. Alright, so let's... Uh, Alright, so the distance of the object is 9.57. So meaning to say that the distance of the object is always uh, positive. So meaning to say, uh, the object is placed uh, beyond C. Uh, why, why did I say beyond C? Because, uh, because the center of curvature is 9.38 and your answer is uh, 9.57. So, meaning to say it is uh, somehow point, uh, point uh, more or less point 0.12 or point uh, 0.13. Alright, beyond C. So, higher than C. Okay, so meaning to say the answer here is D sub O is equal to 9.57 cm. Okay, so for this problem, that's the answer. Okay, next one. Okay, let's take a look at this problem. Uh, concave mirror, again concave mirror, uh, has a focal length of 10 cm. An object is 18, 18 cm away from the mirror and the object is 9.0 cm tall. Determine the image height and the image distance. So, in this problem, we have the focal length. Right? So, we will check out uh, different things here. So, we have the focal length, check. And the object is 18 cm away from the mirror. So, it, uh, it tells us that this thing or this value is the distance of the object. Check. Alright, next one. And the object is 9.0 cm tall. So, we have height of the object is also checked. Next one. We are asked to find out what is the image height and what is the distance of the image. Right. <clears throat> okay, so let's, uh, let's compute for this uh, problem. Let's compute this problem. Alright, so let's start first with the focal length. So, uh, let's start first with the center of curvature. So, the center of curvature is 2F. Okay, so in this case, our focal length is, okay, based on the problem, that is 10 cm. 10 cm. So, times 2, that will be 20, 20 cm. Alright, so next one. Alright. So next one, uh, what is the distance of the object? So the distance of the object is uh, 18 cm. So we have it 18 cm. Okay, next one. Uh, next one is the height of the image or height of the object rather. So we have the height of the object which is, uh, right. So height of the object is 9.0 cm. So 9 cm. Okay. So, we are asked to find out what is the height of the image and uh, distance of the image. Right, so. Okay, so the first thing, uh, first thing to do is uh, write down the equation. So, in this case, we will going to use 1 over f is equal to 1 over d sub o plus 1 over d sub i. Okay. And another one, since we have uh, already the height, so we will going to use the magnification formula, which is uh, negative d sub i over d sub o is equal to h sub i over h sub o. All right. So first thing to do is we will going to find out which uh, what is the d sub o because we cannot compute for the we cannot compute for this if the d sub o is missing. All right. So we have here the d sub o. So rearrange. So we have one over d sub o is equal to one over uh, sorry rather d sub i over uh, is equal to one over d sub o minus 1 over f all right so let's uh, substitute the formula uh the substitute the values so 1 over 18 cm minus all right so minus 1 over uh 10 cm okay so 1 over 10 so all right so let's uh let's compute so 18 18 times 10 so that will be 
Alright, so let's rewrite it again. So it will likely to be 18 times 10 over uh, 18 minus 10. Okay, so let's compute. So 18 times 10 will be 180. So we have, um, right, so we have uh, 100 and 180 over, alright, so 18 minus 10, so we have um, 8. 180 over 8. So, okay, let's uh, divide. 180 over 8 is uh, 22.5. So, meaning to say that the distance of the image is 22.5 uh, cm from the mirror. Alright, so this is the distance of the image. We already computed this one. What does the distance of the image mean? If it is positive, so if it is positive, the distance of the image that is real. Okay, let's see if it is correct. Alright, positive distance is real. Alright, so we are correct. Okay, real. So, next one. Let's compute. So, since we have the distance of the image, so, we have already the distance of the image. We can now compute for the height of the image. So, let's uh, substitute the value here. So, we have, uh, since magnification is not us on the problem, so we will not compute for this one. Alright, so, what is this? So, what is the distance of the image? So, the image is uh, 22.5 cm over the distance of 18 cm. So, negative is equal to um, is equal to height of the image which is missing over uh, height of the object which is 9 cm all right so if we rearrange the formula we can come up with height of the image height of the image is equal to the negative of uh, huh? mm, divided by 18 cm so we have 22.5 cm Right, 22.5 cm times 9 cm. Okay, there we go. Okay, so with that, uh, with that, okay, so we have 22.5 times 9, so that will be 202, uh, 202.5 over 18. Alright, so next one. So the height of the image will be 202.5 over 18 so that will become 11.25 11.25 don't forget the negative so negative so what does it mean so what does it uh, what does this particular uh, what does this particular uh, uh, what does this particular answer means all right so cm okay so if, if the height of the image is negative so that is real that is real and that is inverted. Okay, so negative 11.25. So let's see if the image, okay, so it is inverted and it is enlarged. Enlarged. Alright, so let's see if we are correct. Negative height of the image. Alright, so we are correct. So, that is inverted. So, negative height of the image. So, basically, that's how you compute for that problem. Okay. So, um, if you would mind, uh, let's look for the lost. So, what is the location of the image? The location of the image is uh, 22.5 and our uh, center curvature is 20. So, the center of curvature... The center of curvature is 20, so meaning to say this is uh, the image is beyond C. Beyond C. Next one, orientation. Is it uh, inverted or uh, upright? So based on our answer, the height of the image is negative, so that, that is inverted. Next one, the size of the image. Alright, so the size of the image, is it... Uh, Reduce, enlarge, or the same. So, based on that, 11 and 9. So, the height of the object is 9 and it increased to 11. So, meaning to say it becomes enlarged. Yeah. Next one. The type of image, if, uh, virtual or real. So, 
if the image distance is ne uh, positive, so that is a uh, real image. All right. So the loss of this, uh, the loss for this problem is beyond C, inverted, enlarged, and it is uh, real. All right. So we are uh, we are now on the last sample problem that we have right uh, on this uh, lesson. So. For the mirror equation, so determine the magnification for of the image for an object placed 12.25 uh, cm from the convex mirror. 12.25 cm. So meaning to say, this is a distance of the object. It will not be affected by being negative or positive. Next one. Since this is a convex mirror, what can we know? What is the convention for the convex mirror? So, the convention for the convex mirror, the focal length is negative if it is a convex type of mirror. So, meaning to say that the focal length here is uh, negative. So, this, uh, this value that we have right here, this is a negative of value. Alright, so let's go and write down all the uh, given, uh, given variables. So, let's start first with C. C is equal to 2 times F. Alright, so the F is, uh, the focal length is uh, what value? Alright, so the focal length is uh, 6.38. So, let's ignore first the negative. So, we have here 6. Alright. Alright, so we have here. Uh -huh. Alright, 6.38. Yeah. So, 6.38 cm. So, that's the focal length. So, 2 times 6.38. So that is 12.76. Alright. So, the center of curvature of that mirror is 12.76 cm. So, we will going to use that one in uh, our um, lost mnemonic. Alright. So, next one. The distance of the object is uh, based on the problem that is 12.25 cm. So, that is positive. So, always positive. 12.25 cm. Alright, so we are asked to find out what is the magnification of the image. Alright, so we are asked to find out the magnification. Okay. Now, um, how will we compute for the magnification? Now, let's write first the formula that we will going to uh, use here. So, the first one is 1 over f is equal to 1 over d sub o plus uh, 1 over d sub i. Okay. Next one, uh, the next formula is the magnification equation. Magnification is equal to negative d sub, one, uh, d sub i over d sub o is equal to height of the object or height of the image rather over height of the object. Since we are not talking about the height, uh, there is no height given on the problem so we can cancel this one. Alright, so... Okay, so first, we will going to find out what is the height or the distance of the image. Okay, so let's uh, find out. So, 1 over d sub i is equal to 1 over d sub o minus 1 over d sub or 1 over f. Alright, so let's, have it, uh, let's write it this way. So, 1 over d sub o is 1 over 12.25 minus 1 over uh, 6.25. 38. So, let me see kung if it is 6.38. Alright, so that is 6.38. So, uh, let's rewrite it this way. So, 12.25 times uh, 6.38. Okay. Next one, we have... Uh, Alright. So, we have all, all over uh, 12.25 minus 6.38. Okay, so, alright, so let's see if we have the correct uh, substitution here. Alright, so we are correct. Now, we can now proceed to the computation. 12.25 minus, minus uh, 6.38, so that will be uh, 5.87. So, the answer here is 5.87 over, alright, so 12.25. Or rather, um, sorry, sorry, um, wrong computation. So we have 12.25 times 6.38. So that will be 78. So we'll go, we'll go here. So we have 78 
alright 78 point alright so 16 over alright 5 point so 12.25 minus 6.38 that will be 5.87 so there will be no discrepancy in sign 87 right so what will be the answer 7.16 over 5.87 so that is what 13 point all right so that is 13.3 so 13.3 right so that will be your uh, distance of the image so since uh, since the value of your distance or the image distance is positive cm all right so meaning to say that uh, if it is positive it should be yeah so later we will analyze that one okay what it should be okay is it a uh, real okay or is it a uh, virtual okay next one now let's compute so since we have already the d sub i so we can now compute for the Okay. So we can now compute for the uh, we can now compute for the uh, what to call this the magnification. All right. So magnification is minus d sub i, which is thirteen point three. Right. So we have thirteen point three cm over yeah over uh, over the value of uh, what is the d sub o, which is twelve point twenty five. All right, so let's uh, proceed. All right, so 13.3 over 12.25. Okay, so the answer here is 1 point. All right, so the magnification is negative 1 point. Yeah. Let me see if I am in the correct path. Or I forget. Yeah, I forget. Or I forgot, rather. So, I forgot that this is negative, should be negative. So, it will become not 0 0.5, 0 0.87. So, let me repeat the computation one more time. Right. So, let me repeat the computation one more time. So, okay. So, okay. So, rewind, rewind, rewind. So, all right. So, it will become 12. All right. So, 1 over 1 over d sub i okay 1 over d sub i is equal to 1 over d sub o minus 1 over f so that will be uh, 1 over a so negative put here negative so 1 over d sub o which is 12.25 minus 1 over uh, negative 6.38 so don't forget so negative 6.38 yeah so we have 12.25 times uh all right so times the the negative 6.38 okay yeah so the 6.38 okay so let's ignore the negative here on top so next one is uh, all right so we have 12.25 minus uh, the negative of 6.38 so what do we have right here so we will get all right so doing the all right so doing the all right doing the correct equation here or doing the correct computation you will get uh, four point all right so 4.195 cm okay so that will be your d sub i so as you can see the value is uh, positive okay so the value of your answer is a uh, positive value so that is yeah so positive value what is d sub i in positive so all right so value of d sub i in positive is uh real image all right so this is the real uh, this is a real image 4.195 okay so that is uh, negative okay next one so okay. okay mm -hmm. all right so i forgot 
Okay. Since this is also negative, so, sorry for the... Okay, let's, uh, let's do it again. So, okay. So, what is the... So what is the what is the center of curvature? So the center of curvature for this one is 6.38. 6.38 times 2 that will become 12.76. Right? So we have here uh 12.76. Uh, 12 yeah, cm. Okay, next one, the focal length is negative 6.38 cm. Then the distance of the object is uh 12.25 uh, cm okay so with that um uh, we will use the one over f yeah so now using this uh, uh using this formula d sub o minus uh or plus d sub i okay so my uh, drawing pad is not working perfectly so using this uh using this uh, formula you can get or the d sub i or the distance of the image that you can get is negative 4.195 all right so 4.195 cm again the answer is in negative so it means that the it means that the okay that the image is uh, virtual negative virtual okay next one uh, now we compute for the uh, magnification. The magnification is d sub i or d sub i over d sub o. So we got already the we got already the d sub i. So it will become negative 4.195, right? So let me rewrite it one more time because my uh, drawing pad is not working perfectly. So negative uh, 4.195 over what is your distance of the object? So we have 12.25. So negative. So we cancel the two negative on the equation. So 4.195 over 12.25. So that will be 0 0.34. The answer is 0 0.34 M. Alright, so X. So meaning to say uh, the magnification is somehow a positive value. Alright, so let's start. Uh, let's find out the loss uh, on this uh, problem. Alright, so what is the location of the object? So the location of the object is uh, the focal point is 6.38 and the focal point is 6.38 and the distance of the object or distance of the image is 4.195. So meaning to say the, or the location of the object is in, uh, sorry, in uh, front. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, in front of F. Yeah, of F. All right, so in front of F. That is the L. Then what is the orientation? So the orientation of the object is it uh, upside down, or uh, is it upside down or inverted? Or sorry, it is upside down or uh, upright. So based on the magnification, the magnification is positive. Then therefore, this is <coughs> upright. <coughs> Next, the size of the object. This is less than one. All right, so it is uh, reduced. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me for that. And what is the type of the what is the type of the image? So the image is virtual. All right. So there we go. So that is the last sample problem for this mirror equation. Now I hope you did learn something from this uh, uh, discussion that we had. So if you have question, don't forget it to write it. Uh, don't forget to write it on the comment section that we have in this video. All right. So with that, see you later and goodbye.